thing we're able to uh, like really go up close to because it's act someone's actual house. So I, my plan was to kind of like park on the street and take some pictures and a quick, quick uh, recording of it. But unless like we knocked on the door, but I don't know if they'd appreciate that. Infirmary Road. Yeah, well, literally this place is called Infirmary Road. It's, um, so, there's these, these, um, these houses were made in, the, like, the late 60s. They're called Futuro Homes. Um, so I guess the people that own th these, it's actually two Futuro Homes, as you can see. So the people that own these, the one came from the Dayton Wright Brothers Airport. So they got one from the airport. And I, I read that the other one came from New York. I see like a vehicle parked and stuff, so I don't know. So I figured I'll just like stand out by the driveway or something. So I don't want to completely like um, interfere with their doing stuff, but... And like I looked at like pictures like the interior um, oh that must be one of the people that own the house over there the lady over there but um I looked at pictures of like the interiors what's up sure oh yes Bridge into uh, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. About two thirds of the way across on the right hand side, you can see up on a mountain there's another one. Well, I gotta stop by there then. Humanity had a dream of traveling the stars and a fascination with those who did. For some, going through life in a mundane world just wasn't good enough and looked for ways to better simulate their dreams. In 1968, Finnish architect Matty Sronin designed a unique mountain holiday home. Instead of settling for an average ski soleil, Matty made his in the image of a flying saucer in a time when futuristic homes flourished. Shortly after manufacturing started for these radical designs, production soon ended in the early 70s, with only less than 100 of these Futuro houses in the world today. With so little Futuro houses on the planet, it is by some miraculous design that two were able to come together in the same place in Carlisle, Ohio. <laughs> 